I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Sounds like there's wind taking the song from me. I love that. It is Monday, July 26th. I'm Jacob, by the way. What I'm really here to do today is unbox this fella right here. I actually partially unboxed it already. My family all chipped in and got me this beautiful, lovely Tonewood amp. What else is in this box? Oh, of course, the adhesive. The thing that actually magnetizes the thing to the thing. I'm gonna take that out. Huh. Nice. I love magnets. I love magnets. Extra adhesive pads. Check that out. Box. Unboxed. Instructions. Attention. To avoid error, please check out our video manual. I did already watch the video and I thought it was very he helpful and handy. I couldn't decide between handy and helpful. I need to loosen up my strings first, so why don't we do some of that? I've got my beautiful GR Bear Concert Triple O here that I am stoked to hear the Tonewood amp in. I'm going to proceed with the detuning of my guitar. I think I'm gonna go ahead and plug this little fella in so I know exactly where I want the guy to be. Yeah, okay, now I'm gonna take that off. Need to do the dry test first. They always suggest doing the dry test first, which is to do it without the stickers on, or with the stickers on. Ooh, felt something. The dry test, how are we doing? Strong magnet. Oh, oh. I did the dry test wrong. But at least I got an idea of where I want the, the thing to go. Let's try this again. Where you at, X-Brace? I think you've uh, maybe traveled a little bit. No damaging the inside of Rye's guitar, please. So I've got placement down. I'm gonna go ahead and do the deed and take off the adhesives. This is the part that makes me only a little bit nervous. I mean, it is advertised as being non-invasive. Sticking to my strings because magnets, I love them. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, magnets. And it's on now. Are we on any like major bracing? The answer is no. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we might have our newly installed Tonewood amp. Would you look at that, my friends? Now I'm excited because I got the nerve wracking part over. So I'm gonna retune my guitar and get this thing turned on. Please stand by. That's his eager face. Does this sound in tune? Sound off in the comments. It's enough seahorsing around, Jacob. It's time to get serious. That's so far. Tuning! Okay. Boop! Boop! Should be careful. For easy removal, keep this liner on. So I guess I'm just gonna keep that liner on. That's nice. That's good to know. Will it turn on? No, you know why? Because there's no batteries in it. <laughs> okay, I got the, I got it. Don't worry, don't freak out everybody. And I have batteries here. Rechargeable batteries are the way to go. So here I am with some rechargeable batteries. Oh, brute strength to open them with. I thought I would need scissors. Ugh. Don't mind me. I am only destroying all of my equipment as, as we speak. On camera, which is great. Premium content. Premium content for you. Okay, three AA batteries. I can't remember the last time I actually put batteries in something. I kind of feel like I'm powering up my old Game Boy. Ah! Success. We shall see if it worked. Uh, no power. Oh, and my mic is just dripping. I may or may not have jammed the batteries in there. That seems odd. Uh oh. Okay. Pause. Uh, here's what happened. I used rechargeable batteries that weren't charged yet, and one of them got stuck in there. So I looked up what to do on the Tonewood website, and it just said to loosen up the back panel. Pop this part off. In case any of you ever wanted to see what the back of a Tonewood amp looks like, 
That's pretty cool. This should allow me to just pop out that battery and charge it up. Finally, I've got <laughs> what is notoriously an easy thing to set up. I have made somewhat complex, but here we are. My three mixed batteries, all double A's, possibly have been used in a Wii controller or a GameCube, Wavebird. I don't know, maybe. All right, the moment of truth. Tonewood amp, here we are, my friends. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this back off. <laughs> Plot this on carefully. I haven't done anything other than turn this thing on, so let's see if this uh, affects. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, okay. <sighs> oh my lord, this is lovely. Do you hear that? Do you hear? I have done nothing but just. <laughs> oh damn! This thing is nuts already. Woohoo! All right, now me. Woohoo! Alright, I haven't even touched the settings on this thing yet. Let's explore a little bit. So, first of all, I'm hearing a little bit of rattling, which, any loose parts? Are we hearing that? I'm gonna turn this off for a second. See if that rattling is happening because of my own installation. Okay. Plugging back in, turning back on. Getting some percussion in there, sounding good. I'm going to play you something without the Tonewood amp first, unplugged. Here's a snippet from my tune called Awake. I chose that one because it's pretty punchy and I'm excited to see what the reverb sounds like. So here's Awake with the Tonewood amp. some of these settings. Let's set decay all the way up. Let's set volume all the way up. That's what happens if you set all of the settings on one hall all the way up. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's say decay is at 20. Let's say volume is at like 10. Let's keep it modest. So now I'm going to play something a little bit more spacious and open. Uh, here's a little tune called Crescent. Here's Crescent with the Tone Mode amp. Ah, 
Okay, man, wow. Well, verdict on the Tonewood amp on first opening. It is awesome. So excited to experiment with this in a live setting. I'm excited to just have this in the studio and get a little bit more used to its settings and see what it what else it can do with this amazing, powerful ride bear guitar. I am so excited about this Tonewood amp. So Devin, mom, sisters, West family, this is a great birthday gift and I can't wait to try it out and learn a little bit more about it. I'm signing off. My name is Jacob. Feel free to subscribe. I try to upload at least every two weeks. And I would encourage you to go check out my Patreon page where you'll get exclusive content. Uh, I'm so grateful to all of my patrons out there who are already on this platform supporting my work. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely week.